Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is the Old Testament, 88 days. We're on day 42, and today we'll be reading 1 Chronicles 7 through 18. A lot of chapters today, so let's get right into it. So, as I said yesterday, Chronicles has a lot of genealogy and um, stuff like that in it, so it could be a little dry. For some people, especially for people who are just starting out reading the Bible, I would not recommend. Well, in general, I wouldn't recommend Old Testament if you're just starting out, but it's more like it's more advanced in the sense that um, you need to go in with it with the mindset that there is stuff to learn and stuff to glean from the Old Testament and chapters like Chronicles, even though it's a little dry. So, First Chronicles 7, verse 1. Now the sons of Issachar were Tola, Pua, and Jashub, and Shimron, 4. Uh, just real quick again, if I mispronounce the names, sorry, I'm trying. There's a lot of weird names, so. <laughs> First Chronicles 7, 2. And the sons of Tola, Uzi, and Raphaia, and Jeriel, Jamia, and Jibsam, Shemuel, the heads of their father's house, to wit, of Tola. They were valiant men of might in their generations, whose number was in the days of David two and twenty thousand and six hundred. The sons of Uzi, Uzariah, and the sons of Uzariah, Michael, and Obadiah, and Joel, and Ishiah, five, all of them chief men. And with them by their generations after the house of their fathers were bands of soldiers for war, six and thirty thousand men, for they had many wives and sons, and their brethren among all the families of Issachar were valiant men of might, reckoned in all by their genealogies, fourscore and seven thousand. The sons of Benjamin, Bela, and Becher, and Jadil, three. The sons of Bela, Esbon, and Uzi, and Uziel, and Jeremoth, and Uri, five. Heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of valor and were reckoned by their genealogies twenty and two thousand and thirty and four. The sons of Becher, Zemira, and Josh, and Eliezer, and Elionai, Emery, and Jeremoth, Abia, Ananoth, Alameth, all of these are the sons of Becher. Number of them after their genealogy by their generations, heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of valor, was twenty thousand and two hundred. The sons also of Jadil, Bilhan, and the sons of Bilhan, Jerush and Benjamin and Ehud and Chenana and Zethan and Tarshish and Ashihar. All these the sons did deal by the heads of their fathers, mighty men of valor, who were 17,200 soldiers fit to go out for war and battle. Chupim also and Hupim and the children of Ir and Hushim, the sons of Aher, the sons of Naphtali, Jazil and Guni and Jezer and Shalom, the sons of Bilha. The sons of Manasseh, Ashriel, whom she bare, but his concubine, the Amoritess, bare Machir, the father of Gleed. Machir took the wife, the sister of Hupim, and Chupim, whose sister name was Makkah, and the name of the second was Zelophehed. And Zelophehed had daughters, and Makkah, the wife of Machir, bare a son. She called his name Peresh, and the name of his brother was Sheresh, and his sons were Ulam and Rakim. The sons of Ulam, Beden, these were the sons of Gilead, the sons of Machir, the son of Manasseh, and his sister Hamolaketh bare Ishod and Abiezer and Mahala. The sons of Shemida were Ahian and Shechem and Likhi and Aniim. The sons of Ephraim, Shuthela and Bered his son, Tahath his son, Eldah his son, Tahath his son, and Zabad his son, and Shuath Eloth his son, and Ezer and Eled whom the men of Gath that were born in the land slew because they came down to take away their cattle. And Ephraim their father mourned many days, and his brethren came to comfort him. When he went into his wife, she conceived and bare a son, and called his name Bariah, because it went evil with his house. His daughter was Sherah, who built Beth Horon, the nether, in the upper, in the Uzin Sherah. And Repha was his son, and Reshef, and Tela his son, and Tahan his son. Ladan his son, Ahihud his son, Elishama his son, Non his son, Jehoshua his son. And their possessions and habitations were Bethel, 
and the towns thereof, and eastward Nauron, and westward Gezer, with the towns thereof, Shechem also, the towns thereof, unto Gaza, and the towns thereof, and by the borders of the children of Manasseh, Beth Shean in her towns, Tanakh in her towns, Megiddo in her towns, Dor in her towns, in these dwelt the children of Joseph, the son of Israel. The sons of Asher, Imna, and Ushua, Ushure, and Bariah, and Sarah, their sister. The sons of Bariah, Heber, and Machiel, who is the father of Berzavith, and Heber begat Japlet, and Shomer, and Hotham, and Shua, their sister, and the sons of Japlet, Pesach, and Bimhal, and Ashbath. These are the children of Japheth. What? The sons of Shamer, Ahi, and Rogha, and Jabua, and Amram. The sons of his brother Helem, Zopa, and Inna, and Shelesh, and Amal. The sons of Zopa, Sua, and Har Nefer, and Shual, and Beri, and Imra. Bezer, and Hod, and Shama, and Shilisha, and Ithran, Bira, and the sons of Jether, Jepuna, and Pis Pispa, and Era. The sons of Ula, Araya, Ara, Hanil, and Rezia, all these were the children of Asher, heads of their father's house, choice and mighty men of valor, chief of the princes, and the number throughout the genealogy of them that were apt to the war and to battle was twenty and six thousand men. First Chronicles 8 Now Benjamin begat to Bela his firstborn, Ashbel the second, and Ariah the third. Nohah the fourth, and Rapha the fifth, and the sons of Bela were Adar, and Gera, and Abihud, and Abishua, and Naman, and Awa, and Gera, Shephuhan, Huram, and these are the sons of Ehud, these are the heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Geba, and they removed them to Manatha. And Naman, and Ahia, and Gera, he removed them, and begat Uzzah, and Ahihud. Shaharaim begat children in the country of Moab, after he had sent away, Hushim and Bara were his wives. And he begat of Hodesh his wife, Jobab, and Zibiah, and Mesha, and Malcham. And Jehuz, and Shachia, and Mirah, Mirma, these were his sons, heads of the fathers. And Hushim, he begat Ahitub, and Elpal. Sons of Elpal, Eber, and Misham, and, Sh and Shamed, who built Ono, and Lod, with the towns thereof. Bariah also and Shema, who were heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Ajalon, who drove away the inhabitants of Gath. And Ahio, Shashak, and Jeremoth, and Zebediah, and Arad, and Adder, and Michael, and Ispa, and Joha, the sons of Bariah, and Zebediah, and Meshulam, and Hezeki, and Heber, Ishmerari also, and Jezlia, and Jobab, the sons of Epal, Jakim, and Zikri, and Zabdi, Elinai and Zilphi and Eliel and Adiah and Barai and Shimrath the sons of Shimni and Ishpan and Heber and Eliel Abdon and Zikri and Hanon and Hananiah Elam Atothijah and Ipithadiah Penuel the sons of Shashak Shamsharai and Shehariah and Athaliah and Jeshariah and Eliah and Zikri the sons of Jeroham these are the heads of the fathers by their generations, chief men, these dwelt in Jerusalem. And at Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, whose wife's name was Makah, and his firstborn son Abdon, and Zur, and Kish, and Baal, and Nadab, and Gedor, and Ahio, and Zachar, and Mil Mikaloth begat Shimea, and these also dwelt with their brethren in Jerusalem over against them. And Ner begat Kish, and Kish begat Saul, and Saul begat Jonathan, Malkushua, and Abinadab, and Eshbal. The son of Jonathan was Meribal, and Meribal begat Micah, and the sons of Micah were Pithon, and Melech, and Teria, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat Jehoiada, and Jehoiada begat Elameth, and Azmapheth, and Zimri, and Zimri begat Moza, and Moza begat Binia, Rapha was his son, Eliash his son, Azel his son, and Azel had six sons whose name, names are these, Ezrikan, Bocheru, Ishmael, and Shariah, Obadiah, and Hanan, these are the sons of Azael. The sons of Eshek, his brother, were Ulam, his firstborn, Jeush, the second, Eliaphet, the third. The sons of Ulam were mighty men of valor, archers, and had many sons, and sons' sons, 150. All these are the sons of Benjamin.
First Chronicles 9. So all Israel were reckoned by genealogies, and behold, they were written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah, who were carried away to Babylon for their transgression. Now the first inhabitants that dwelt in their possessions in their cities were the Israelites, the priests, the Levites, and the Nethanims. And in Jerusalem dwelt the children of Judah, and of the children of Benjamin, and of the children of Ephraim and Manasseh. Uthai, the son of Amihud, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Bani, the, of the children of Pharez, the son of Judah, and of the Shilonites, Isaiah, the firstborn, and his sons. And the sons of Zerah, Jehu, and their brethren, 690. And of the sons of Benjamin, Saulu, the son of Meshulam, the son of Hodavia, the son of Hasenua. And Ibniah the son of Jerome, and Ella the son of Uzi, the son of Mikri, and Meshlam the son of Shaphathia, the son of Ruel, the son of Ibnijah, and their brethren according to their generations nine hundred and fifty and six. All these men were chief of the fathers in the house of their fathers, and of the priests Jediah, and Jeho, Yarib, and Jachin, and Azariah the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshlam, the son of Zadok, the son of Merarthoth and the son of Ahitub, the ruler of the house of Elohim, and Adiah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Pasher, the son of Malkijah, Masiah, the son of Adil, the son of Jaharez, the son of Meshlam, the son of Melithmith, the son of Immer, and their brethren, heads of the house of their fathers, a thousand and seven hundred and threescore, very able men for the work of the service of the house of Elohim, and of the Levites, Shemaiah, the son of Hasub, the son of Azari, Cam, the son of Hashibiah, the sons of Marari, and Bakbakar, Heresh, and Galal, and Mataniah, the son of Micah, the son of Zikri, the son of Asaph, and Obadiah, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Galal, the son of Jeduthun, and Berachiah, the son of Asa, the son of Elkanah, that dwelt in the villages of the Netophorthites. And the porters were Shalom, and Akub, and Talmon, and Ahiman and their brethren, Shalom was their chief, who hitherto waited in the king's gate eastward. They were porters in the companies of the children of Levi. Shalom, the son of Koreh, the son of Abiasaph, the son of Korah, and his brethren of the house of his father, the Korahathites, were over the work of the service, keepers of the gates of the tabernacle, and their fathers, being over the host of Yahweh, were keepers of the entry. Phineas the son of Eleazar was the ruler over them in time past, and Yahweh was with him. And Zechariah the son of Meleshemiah was porter of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. All these which were chosen to be porters in the, in the gates were two hundred and twelve. These were the reckoned by their genealogy in their villages whom David and Samuel the seer did ordain in their set office. So they and their children had the oversight of the gates of the house of Yahweh, namely the house of the tabernacle by wards, and four quarters were the porters toward the east, west, and north, south, and their brethren which were in their villages were to come after seven days from time to time with them. For these Levites, the four chief porters were their set office and were over the chambers of the treasuries of the house of Elohim. And they lodged round about the house of Elohim because the charge was upon them, and the opening thereof every morning pertained to them. And certain of them had the charge of the ministering vessels that they should bring them in and out by tail. Some of them also were appointed to oversee the vessels and all the instruments of the sanctuary, and the fine flour, and the wine, and the oil, and the frankincense, and the spices. And some of the sons of the priests made the ointment of the spices. Matathiah, one of the Levites, who was the firstborn of Shalom, the Korhathite, had the set office over the things that were made in the pans. And the other of their brethren, the sons of the Korhathites, were over the shewbread to prepare it every Sabbath. These are the singers, chief of the fathers of the Levites, who remaining in the chambers were free, for they were employed in that work day and night. These chief fathers of the Levites were chief throughout their generations. These dwelt at Jerusalem. And in Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, Jehiel, whose wife's name was Makkah, and his firstborn son Abdon, then Zur, and Kish, and Baal, and Ner, and Nadab, and Geder, and Ahio, and Zechariah, and Milkoth. Milkoth. Milkoth begat to Shimeim, and they also dwelt with their brethren at Jerusalem over against their brethren. And Ner begat Kish, and Kish begat Saul, and Saul begat Jonathan, and Malkushua, and Abinadab, and Eshbal. 
The son of Jonathan was Meribal, and Meribal begat to Micah. The sons of Micah were Pithon, and Melech, and Tariah, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat to Jara, and Jara begat Elameth, and Azavmeth, and Zimri, and Zimri begat Moza. Moza begat Binian, Rephiah his son, Elisa his son, Azel his son. And Azel had six sons, whose names are these. Azrikam, Bocheru, and Ishmael, and Shariah, Obadiah, and Hanan. These are the sons of Azel. First Chronicles 10. Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled from before the Philistines and fell down slain in Mount Gilboa. And the Philistines followed hard after Saul and after his sons, and the Philistines slew Jonathan and Abinadab and Malchishua, the sons of Saul. And the battle went sore against Saul, and the archers hit him, and he was wounded of the archers. Then said Saul to his armor-bearer, Draw thy sword, thrust me through therewith, lest these uncircumcised come and abuse me. But his armor-bearer would not, for he was sore afraid. So Saul took a sword and fell upon it. When his armor-bearer saw that Saul was dead, he fell likewise on the sword and died. So Saul died, his and his three sons and his house died together. When all the men of Israel that were in the valley saw that they fled, and that Saul and his sons were dead, then they forsook their cities and fled, and the Philistines came and dwelt in them. And it passed on the morrow, when the Philistines came to strip the slain, that they found Saul and his sons fallen in Mount Gilboa, and when they had stripped him, they took his head and his armor and sent into the land the Philistines round about to carry tidings unto their idols and to the people. They put his armor in the house of their gods and fasted his head in the temple of Dagon. And when all of Jabesh Gilead heard that all that the Philistines had done to Saul, they arose all the valiant men and took away the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons and brought them to Jabesh and buried their bones under the oak in Jabesh and fasted seven days. And Saul died for his transgression which he committed against Yahweh, even against the word of Yahweh which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it, and inquired not of Yahweh. Therefore he slew him and turned the kingdom unto David the son of Jesse. 1 Chronicles 11 and all Israel gathered themselves to David, unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. And moreover, in time past, even when Saul was king, thou wast he that led us out, and brought us in Israel. And Yahweh, the Elohim, said unto thee, Thou shalt free, feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Israel. Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king to Hebron, and David made a covenant with them in Hebron before Yahweh, and they anointed David over the Israel according to the word of Yahweh by Samuel. David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Jebus, where the Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Jebus said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless, David took the castle of Zion, which is in the city of David. David said, Whosoever smiteth the Jebusites first shall be chief and captain. So Joab the son of Zariah went up first and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle, therefore they called it in the city of David. And he built the city round about, even from Milo round about. And jo Joab repaired the rest of the city. So David waxed greater and greater for Yahweh's. Yahweh of hosts was with him. These also are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom and with all Israel to make him king, according to the word of Yahweh concerning Israel. This is the number of mighty men whom David had. Joshua Beam, a Hakamonite, the chief of the captains, he lifted up his spear against three hundred slain by him at one time. And after was Eliezer, the son of Dodo, the Ahohite, who was one of the three mighties. He was with David at Pestamim, and there the Philistines were gathered together to battle, where was a parcel of ground full of barley, and the people fled from before the Philistines. They set themselves in the midst of that parcel and delivered it, and slew the Philistines, and Yahweh saved them by a great deliverance. Now three of the thirty captains went down to the rock of David into the cave of Adullam, and the host of the Philistines encamped in the valley of Ephraim. 
David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem that is at the gate. And three break through the host of the Philistines and drew water out to the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. But David would not drink it, he but poured it out to Yahweh and said, My Elohim forbid it me that I should do this thing, that I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy. For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it, therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mightiest. And Abishai the brother of Joab, he was chief of the three, for lifting up his spear against three hundred he slew them, and had a name among the three. Of the three he was more honorable than that than the two, for he was their captain, howbeit he attained not to the first three. But I, the son of Jehoiada, the son of valiant man Kabzeel, who had done many acts, he went slew two lion-like men of Moab, also he went down and slew a lion in a pit in a snowy day. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high, and in the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam, and he went down to him with a staff, and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, and had the name among the three mighties. Behold, he was honorable among the thirty, but attained not to the first three, and David set him over his guard. Also the valiant men of the armies were Asahel, the brother of Joab, Elhanan, the son of Dodo of Bethlehem, Shamath, the Haronite, Helez, the Pelonite, Ira, the son of Ikesh, the Tekoite, Abiezer the At Athothite, Sebekia Kai the Hushathite, Ulai the Ahohite, Maharai the Nephothothite, Heled the son of Bana the Netophothite, Ithai the son of Ribia of Gibeah that pertained to the children of Benjamin, Benaiah the Parathonite, Harai of the brooks of Gash, Abiel the Arbathite, Asmapheth the Baharamite, Elihaba the Shalbanite, the sons of Hashem the Gizonite, Jonathan the son of Shag the Hararite, Ahiham the son of Sakar the Hararite, Elipil the son of Ur, Ephr the Mekarathite, Ahijah the Pelonite, Hezro the Carmelite, Narari the son of Ebizai, Joel the brother of Nathan, Mibhar the son of Haguri, Belek the Amothite, Naharai the Birothite, the armor bearer of Joab the son of Zariah, Ira the Irithite, Gareb the Ithrite, Ariah the Hittite, Zabad the son of Ali, Ali, Adina the son of Shiza the Reubenite, a captain of the Reubenites, and thirty with him. Anan the son of Makkah, and Jehoshaphat the Mithnite, Uziah the Ashtharite, Shammah and Jahil the sons of Hotham the Arothite, Jadil the son of Shimri, and Joha his brother the Tizite, Elil the Mahavite, and Jerabai the Joshavia, the sons of Elnam, and Ithma the Moabite, Elil and Obed, and Jashil the Mesobathite. First uh, Chronicles 12. Now these are they that came to David to Ziklag, while he yet kept himself close because of Saul the son of Kish, and they were among the mighty men helpers of the war. They were armed with bows, and could use both the right hand and the left in hurling stones and shooting arrows out of a bow, even of Saul's brethren of Benjamin. The chief was Ahazer, then Joash the sons of Shema and Gibbethite, the Gibbethite, and Jezeel and Pelet the sons of Azamatheth, and Barakah, and Jehu the Atothite, and Ismia the Gibeonite, a mighty man among the thirty, and over the thirty, and Jeremiah, and Jahaziel, and Johanan, and Josabad, the Gedorothite, Eluzai, and Jeremoth, and Belial, and Shemariah, and Shephathiah, the Haruhothite, Akana, and Jesiah, and Azrael, and Jozer, and Jashobim the Korth Heights, and Jola and Zebediah the sons of Jerome of Gedder, 
and of the Gadites who separate themselves unto David in the hold of the wilderness, men of might and men of war fit for the battle, that they could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lions, and were swift as the rose upon the mountain. Ezer the first, Obadiah the second, Eliab the third, Mishmana the fourth, Jeremiah the fifth, Atai the sixth, Eliel the seventh, Johanan the eighth, Elizabeth the ninth, Jeremiah the tenth, Machabani the eleventh. These were the sons of Gad, captains of the hosts, one of the least was over a hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. These are they that went over Jordan in the first month, when it had overflown all his banks, and they put to flight all them of the valleys, both toward the east and toward the west. And there came of the children of Benjamin and Judah to hold unto David. And David went out to meet them, and answered and said unto them, If ye be come peaceably unto me to help me, mine heart shall be knit to mine enemies. Seeing there is no wrong in mine hands, the Elohim of our fathers look thereon and rebuke it. Then the Spirit came upon Amasai, who was chief of the captains, and he said, Thine are we, David, and on thy side, thou son of Jesse, peace, peace unto, be unto thee. Peace be unto thine helpers, for Elohim helpeth thee. Then David received them and made them captains of the band. And there fell some of Manasseh to David when he came with the Philistines against Saul to battle. But they helped them not, for the lords of the Philistines, upon advisement, sent him away, saying, He will fall to his master Saul, to the jeopardy of our heads. And as he went to Ziklag, there fell to him Manasseh, Adna, and Josabad, and Jadil. And Michael and Josabad and Elihu and Zithai, captains of the thousands that were of Manasseh. And they helped David against the band of the rovers, and they were all mighty men of valor, and were captains in the host. For at that time, day by day, there came to David to help him, until it was a great host, like the host of Elohim. And these are the numbers of the bands that were already armed to the war, and came to David to Hebron to turn the kingdom of Saul to him according to the word of Yahweh. The children of Judah that bear shield and spear were 6,800 ready armed to the war. Of the children of Simeon, mighty men of valor for the war, 7,100. Of the children of Levi, 4,600. Of Jehoiada was the leader of the Aaronites, and with him were 3,700. And Zadok, a young man, mighty of valor, and of his father's house, 20 and two captains. And of the children of Benjamin, the kindred of Saul, 3,000. For hitherto the greatest part of them that had kept the ward of the house of Saul. And of the children of Ephraim, twenty thousand eight hundred mighty men of valor, famous throughout the house of their fathers. And of, and of the half tribe of Manasseh, eighteen thousand, which were expressed by name to come and to make David king. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were two hundred, and all their brethren were at their commandment. Of Zebulun, such as went forth to battle except in war, with all in instruments of war, fifty thousand which could be could keep rank, they were not of double heart. And of Naphtali, a thousand captains, and with them that with shield and spear, thirty and seven thousand. And of the Danites, expert in war, twenty and eight thousand and six hundred. And of Asher, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, forty thousand. And on the other side of Jordan, of the Reubenites, and of the Gadites, and of the half-tribe Manasseh, with all manner of instruments of war for the battle, a hundred and twenty thousand. All these men of war that could keep rank came with a perfect heart to Hebron to make David king over all Israel, and all the rest also of Israel were of one heart to make David king. And there they were with David three days, eating and drinking, for their brethren had prepared for them. Moreover, they that were nigh to them, even unto Issachar and Zebulun and Naphtali, brought bread on asses and on camels, and on mules and on oxen, and meat and meal, cakes of figs and bunches of raisins and wine and oil and oxen, and sheep abundantly, for there was joy in Israel. First Chronicles 13 And David consulted with the captains of the thousands and hundreds and with every leader, and David sent to all the congregation of Israel. If it seemeth good unto you, and that it be of Yahweh our Elohim, let us send abroad unto our brethren everywhere, that there are left in all the places of the land of Israel, and with them also to the priests and the Levites which are in their cities and suburbs, that they may gather themselves unto us, and let us bring again the ark of our Elohim to us, for we inquired not at it in the days of Saul. 
and all the congregations said that they would do so, for the thing was right in the eyes of all the people. David gathered all Israel together from Shehor of Egypt even to the entering of Hamath to bring the Ark of Elohim from Kerjath Jerim. And David went up and all Israel to Bala, that is, in to Kerjath Jerim, which belonged to Judah, to bring up thence the Ark of Elohim Yahweh, that dwelleth between the cherubims whose name is called on it. They carried the Ark of Elohim in a new cart out of the house of Abinadab and Uzzah, and Ahio drove the cart. And David and all, the, all Israel played before Elohim with all their might, and with singing, and with harps, and with psalteries, and with timbrels, and with cymbals, and with trumpets. And when they came unto the threshing floor of Chidon, Uzzah put forth his hand to hold the Ark, for the oxen stumbled. And the anger of Yahweh was kindled against Uzzah, and he smote him, because he put his hand to the Ark. And there he died before Elohim. David was displeased because Yahweh had made a breach upon Uzzah, wherefore that place is called Perezuzah to this day. And David was afraid of Elohim that day, saying, How shall I bring the ark of Elohim home to me? David brought not the ark home to himself to the city of David, but carried it aside into the house of Obededom, the Giddite. And the ark of Elohim remained with the family of Obededom, in his house three months, and Yahweh blessed the house of Obededom and all that he had. First Chronicles 14 Now Haram king of Tyr sent messengers to David and timber of cedars with masons and carpenters to build him a house. David perceived that Yahweh had confirmed him king over Israel, for his kingdom was lifted up on high because of his people Israel. David took more wives at Jerusalem and begat more sons and daughters. Now these are the names of his children which he had in Jerusalem, Shammua and Shobab, Nathan and Solomon, Ibhar and Elishua and Eliphet, Noga and Nepheg and Japhia, Elishama, Belida, Eliphet. When the Philistines heard that David was anointed king over all Israel, all the Philistines went up to seek David, and David heard of it and went out against them. And the Philistines came and spread themselves in the valley of Ephraim. And David inquired of Elohim, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines, and wilt thou deliver them into mine hand? And Yahweh said unto him, Go up, for I will deliver them into thine hand. So they came up to Baal-perazim, and David smote them there. Then David said, Elohim hath broken in upon mine enemies by my hands, like the breaking forth of waters. Therefore they called the name of that place Baal-perazim. And when they had left their gods there, David gave a commandment, and they were burned with fire. And the Philistines yet again spread themselves abroad in the valley. Therefore David inquired of Elohim, and Elohim said unto him, Go not up after them, turn away from them, and come upon them from over against the mulberry trees. And it shall be when thou shalt hear a sound that, uh, sound of going in the tops of the mulberry trees, that then thou shalt go out to battle, for Elohim has gone forth before thee to smite the host of the Philistines. David therefore did as Elohim commanded him, and they smote the host of the Philistines from Gibeon even to Gazer. And the fame of David went out into all lands, and Yahweh brought the fear of him upon all nations. First Chronicles 15. And David made him houses in the city of David, and prepared a place for the ark of Elohim, and pitched it for a tent. And David said, None ought to carry the ark of Elohim but the Levites, for them hath Yahweh chosen to carry the ark of Elohim, and to minister unto him forever. David gathered all Israel together to Jerusalem to bring up the ark of Yahweh unto his place which he had prepared for it. And David assembled the children of Aaron and the Levites, of the sons of Kohath, Uriel the chief, and his brethren, 120. Of the sons of Merari, Asaiah the chief, and his brethren, 220. The sons of Gershom, Joel the chief, and his brethren, 130. Sons of Elis, Zaphan, Shemaiah the chief, and his brethren, 200. The sons of Hebron, Eliel the chief, and his brethren, fourscore. Of the sons of Uzziel, Abinadab the chief, and his brethren, 112. David called for Zadok and Abiathar the priests, and for the Levites, and for Uriel, Asiah, and Joel. 
and Shemaiah and Eliel and Abinadab, and said unto them, Ye are the chief of the fathers of the Levites. Sanctify yourselves, both ye and your brethren, that ye may bring up the ark of, of Yahweh, the Elohim of Israel, unto the place that I have prepared for it. For because ye did not at the first, Yahweh our Elohim made a breach upon us, for that we sought him not after the due order. So the priests and the Levites sanctified themselves to bring up the ark of Yahweh, Elohim of Israel. And the children of the Levites bear the ark of Elohim upon their shoulders with the staves thereon, as Moses commanded according to the word of Yahweh. David spake to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be singers with instruments of music, psalteries, and harps, and cymbals sounding by lifting up the voice with joy. So the Levites appointed Hemam, the son of Joel, and his brethren, Asaph, the son of Barakai, and the sons of Merari, their brethren, Ethan, the son of Cushiah, and with them their brethren of the second degree, Zechariah, Ben, and Jaziel, and Shemarath, and Jahil, and Uni, Eliab, and Benaiah, and Masaiah, Matathiah, and Eliphalath, and Mekaniah, Obadedom, and Jahil, the porters. The singers Hemam, and Asaph, and Ethan were appointed to the sound with cymbals of brass, Zechariah, and Aziel, and Shemarath, and Jahil, and Uni, and Eliab, and Manasseh, and Benaiah with psalteries on Elamoth, and Matathiah, and Eliapheth, and Mekaniah, and Obededom, and Jaziel, and Azaziah, with harps on the Shim Shimonith to excel. Chenaniah, chief of the Levites, was for a song. He instructed about the song because he was skillful, and Bechariah and Elkanah were doorkeepers for the ark. Shebaniah, and Jehoshaphat, and Nathaniel, and Amasai and Zechariah and Benaiah and Eliezer the priest did blow with one trumpet before the Ark of Elohim, and Obededom and Jehiah were doorkeepers for the Ark. So David and the elders of Israel and the captains over thousands went to bring up the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh out of the house of Obededom with joy. It came to pass when Elohim helped the Levites that bear the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh that they offered seven bullock, bullocks and seven rams. And David was clothed with a fine, ro with a robe of fine linen, and all the Levites that bear the ark, and the singers, and Chenaniah, the master of the song, with the singers. David also had upon him an ephod of linen. Thus all Israel brought the ark of the covenant of Yahweh with shouting, and with the sound of the cornet, and with trumpets, and with cymbals, making a noise with psalteries and harps. And it came to pass, as the ark of the covenant of Yahweh came to the city of David that Michal, the daughter of Saul, looking out at the window, saw King David dancing and playing, and she despised him in her heart. 1 Chronicles 16 They brought the Ark of Elohim and set it in the midst of the tent that David had pitched for it, and they offered burnt sacrifices and peace offerings before Elohim. And when David had made an end to offering the burnt offering, and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of Yahweh. And he dealt to every one of Israel, both man and woman, to every one a loaf of bread, and a good piece of flesh, and a flagon of wine. And he appointed certain of the Levites to minister before the ark of Yahweh, and to record, and to thank and praise Yahweh Elohim of Israel. Asaph the chief, and next to him Zechariah, Jael, Shemaramoth, and Jehiel, and Matahathiah, Eliab, and Benaiah, and Obededom. And Jehiel with psalteries and with harps, and, but Asaph made a sound with cymbals. Benaiah also, Jazahiel the priest, trumpets continually before the Ark of the Covenant of Elohim. Then on that day David delivered first this psalm to thank Yahweh into the hand of Asaph and his brethren. Give thanks unto Yahweh, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him, sing songs unto him, talk ye of his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek Yahweh. Seek Yahweh in his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. 
O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is Yahweh, our Elohim. His judgments are on all the earth. Be ye mindful always of his covenant, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, even of the covenant which he made with Abraham, and, and of his oath unto Isaac. And hath confirmed the same to Jacob for law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give thee the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance, when you were but a few, even a few, and strangers in it. And when you went from nation to nation, from kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Sing unto Yahweh, all the earth, show forth from day to day his salvation. Declare his glory among the heathen, his marvelous works among all the nations. For great is Yahweh, and greatly to be praised. He is also to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols, but Yahweh made the heavens. Glory and honor are in his presence. Strength and gladness are in his place. Give unto Yahweh, ye kindreds of the people. Give unto Yahweh glory and strength. Give unto Yahweh the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship Yahweh in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable, that it be not moved. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. And let, every, let men say among the nations, Yahweh reigneth. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice in all that there is that is therein. Then shall the trees of the woods sing out at the presence of Yahweh, because he cometh to judge the earth. O oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And say ye, Save us, O Elohim of our salvation, and gather us together to deliver us from the heathen, that we may give thanks to thy holy name, and glory in thy praise. Blessed be Yahweh, Elohim of Israel, for ever and ever. And all the people said, Amen, and praised Yahweh. So he left there before the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh, Asaph and his brethren, to minister before the Ark continually, as every day's work required. And Obededom with their brethren, threescore and eight, Obededom also the son of Jedithun, and Hosa to be porters. And Zadok the priest and his brethren the priest before the tabernacle of Yahweh in the high place that was at Gibeon, to offer burnt offerings unto Yahweh upon the altar of the burnt offering continually, morning and evening, and to do according to all that is written in the law of Yahweh, which he commanded Israel. And with them Hamam and Jedithon, and the rest that were chosen, who were expressed by name, to give thanks to Yahweh, because his mercy endureth forever. And with them Hamam and Jedithon, with trumpets and with cymbals, for those that should make a sound, and with musical instruments of Elohim, and the sons of Jedithon were porters, and all the people departed, every man to his house, and David returned to bless his house. Wow, this, um, these words, basically this was a song, but it sounds so similar to a psalm. So good. So that's going to be it for today. We'll finish the rest tomorrow, the rest of First Chronicles. So thanks for joining me, guys. Hope you have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in him. Have trust in him. And wait upon him. And you'll never be sorry. We'll see you tomorrow, God willingly, with the rest of First Chronicles. Thanks again. See you later.